In this video, we're going to show you how to set thumbnail images. All right, so to get started, first we want to find a picture to use. You know, you can use any picture you want. I'm just going to pick a random one. So let's just say that I have this image called You Sexy Beast You. And just so happens to be a picture of, well, I don't know, me. So I've had an image of myself, and it's just going to be called You Sexy Beast You. And I'm going to download that with Invoke Red Request and then just save it to my local computer here. Okay, so it is saved. So once it is saved, then I can just check and see it's there using Get Item. So we do have You Sexy Beast You. I do have that image there. So next up, we need to get it resized. So Microsoft recommends a 96 by 96 pixel image to look the best when it comes to user thumbnails. So what I've done is, instead of creating this on my own, I'm using a community script from a, a guy called Christopher Walker. And I modified just a little bit, not very much at all, but it's called Resize Imaged. And this will be available in the resources for this video. And you can see there, it resizes bitmap, PNGs, all this good stuff. I'm not going to go over all this by any shape, form, or fashion, but you can read that at your leisure, shall you choose to do so. All right, so I have the function available. Then I will go ahead and run it, resize image, and I'm choosing the width of 96 and setting the maintain ratio because I could set a width and height by 96 by 96, but it will probably look really skinny if I do that. So I would just change it to 96 on width and this ends up being 96 by 96 because of the original image resolution. And then I'm going to create the new one and call it sexy.png. So I just you know, save a few keystrokes. So I'll just call it sexy. All right, so now we have a 96 by 96 image called sexy.png. I will check and see if that's there. Yep, okay, it is there. All right, so next up, we need to encode that image into a byte array. And we can do that by getting out the raw contents and encode it in byte. And then we will assign that to a variable called photo in byte. So we are essentially just getting that representation of the image in bytecode format. Once we have it in bytecode format, then I will go ahead and just find the user that I'm going to be, be assigning this to. And of course, it is a Bertram because who else is sexy? We will then go over here and then see what the property looks like. So we already have a thumbnail photo in there. So the property is thumbnail photo. We already have one, but we can just overwrite that. Or if there's one that doesn't exist, we can do that as well. So on line 43 is where I'm actually overriding whatever is in there. I'm using the set a to user command and then specifying the identity, which is myself, the a Bertram, re the replace parameter. Then we are replacing the thumbnail photo attribute with the photo in bytes variable that we created earlier. All right, once we do that, then we can run get 80 user again, and then I will just check and see, and we do have the thumbnail photo. Now, I'm not going to actually show you the thumbnail photo because, unfortunately, that's not a default behavior in Active Directory users and computers. But, you know, if you have Exchange or Outlook installed or, you know, something like, or some other kind of third-party utility, this image would definitely show up attached to the A. Bertram account. So that has been how to set thumbnail images for Active Directory user accounts with PowerShell. Thanks for watching.